Sky Shell 033. Subject. Candle Cove Local Kid Show. Does anyone remember this kid show? It was called Candle Cove, and I must have been six or seven. I never found reference to it anywhere, so I think it was on a local station around 1971 or 1972. I lived in Irontown at the time. I don't remember which station, but I do remember it was on a weird time, like four. Mike Painter 65. It seems really familiar to me. I grew up outside of Ashland when I was nine years old in 72. Candle Cove. Was it about pirates? I remember a pirate marionette at the mouth of a cave talking to a little girl. Sky Shale 033. Yes, okay, I'm not crazy. I remember Pirate Percy. I was always kind of scared of him. He looked like he was built from parts of other dolls. Real low budget. His head was an old porcelain baby doll. Looked like an antique that didn't belong on the body. I don't remember what the station this was. I don't think it was WTSF though. Sharon, 2005. Sorry to resurrect this old thread, but I know exactly what show you mean, Skyshan. I think Candle Cove ran for only a couple months in 71, not 72. I was 12 and I watched it a few times with my brother. It was channel 58, whatever station that was. My mom would let me switch to it after the news. Let me see what I remember. As I recall, it took place in Candle Cove. It was about a little girl who imagined herself to be friends with pirates. The pirate ship was called the Laughing Stock, and Pirate Percy wasn't a very good pirate because he got scared too easily. And there was Calliope music constantly playing. I don't remember the girl's name. Janice or Jade or something. I think it was Janice. Sky Shield 033. Thank you, Jaren. Memories flooded back when you mentioned the laughing stock in Channel 58. I remember the bow of the ship was a wooden smiling face, with the lower jaw submerged. It looked like it was swallowing the sea, and it had an awful Ed Wynn voice and laugh. I especially remember how jarring it was when they switched from the wooden or plastic model to the foam puppet version of the head that talked. Mike Painter, 65. Aha, I remember now, too. Do you remember this part, Sky Shale? You have to go inside. Sky Shale 033. Ugh, Mike, I got a chill reading that. Yes, I remember. That's what the ship always told Percy when there was a spooky place he had to go in, like a cave or a dark room where the treasure was. And the camera would push in on laughing stock face with each pause. You have to go inside with his two eyes askew. And that flopping foam jaw and the fishing line that opened and closed it. Ugh. It just looked so cheap and awful. You guys remember the villain? He had a face that was just a handlebar mustache but really tall, narrow teeth. Kevin Hart. I honestly, honestly thought the villain was the pirate Percy. I was about five when the show was on. Nightmare fuel. Jaren, 2005. That wasn't the villain. The puppet with the mustache? That was the villain's sidekick, Horace Horrible. He had a monocle too, but it was on top of the mustache. I used to think that meant he had only one eye. But yeah, the villain was another marionette. The Skin Taker. Can't believe what they let us watch back then. Kevin Hart. Oh gosh, The Skin Taker. What kind of a kid show are we watching? I seriously could not look at the screen when The Skin Taker showed up. He just descended out of nowhere on his strings, just a dirty skeleton wearing that brown top hat and cape, and his glass eyes that were too big for his skull. Golly. Skyshale 033. Wasn't his top hat and cloak all sewn up crazily? Wasn't that supposed to be like a children's skin? Mike Painter 65. 
Yeah, I think so. Remember his mouth didn't open and close? His jaw just slid back and forth. I remember the little girl said, Why does your mouth move like that? And the skin taker didn't look at the girl, but at the camera and said, To grind your skin. Sky Show 033. I'm so relieved that other people remember this terrible show. I used to have this awful memory, a bad dream I had where the opening jingle ended. The show faded in from black, and all the characters were there. But the camera was just cutting to each of their faces, and they were just screaming. And the puppets and marionettes were flailing spastically, and just all screaming, screaming. The girl was just moaning and crying like she had been through hours of this. I woke up many times from that nightmare. I used to wet the bed when I had it. Kevin Hart. I don't think that was a dream. I remember that. I remember that was an episode. Sky Shell 033. No, 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 not possible. There was no plot or anything. I mean, literally, just standing in place crying and screaming for the whole show. Kevin Hart. Maybe I'm manufacturing the memory because you said that, but I swear I remember seeing what you described. They just screamed. Jaren, 2005. Oh gosh, yeah. The little girl Janice. I remember seeing her shake. The skin taker screaming through his gnashing teeth. His jaw careening so wildly I thought it would come off its wire hinges. I turned it off. It was the last time I watched. I ran to tell my brother and we didn't have the courage to turn it back on. Mike Painter, 65. I visited my mom today at the nursing home. I asked her about it when I was little, in the early 70s, when I was 8 or 9, if she remembered the kids' show, Candle Cove. She said she was surprised I could remember that, and I asked why. She says, because I used to think it was so strange that you said, I'm going to go watch Candle Cove now, Mom. And then you would tune on the TV to, to just static and watch dead air for 30 minutes. You had a big imagination with your little pirate show.